sure. And Place to be. Hello guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. I was exposed to COVID potentially. So it's such a weird <clears throat> way to start a vlog, but last Saturday I was at a friend's party and then her friend tested positive yesterday. So now I'm not feeling well and all this other stuff. Um, it could be completely unrelated. I could just have a cold. But with an autoimmune disease, you never know. So I stayed home today and I'm just getting some schoolwork catched up on. Catched up, caught up on. I'm getting caught up on schoolwork. Grammar, Heather. And I'm on Discord right now. Um, that's what my professor uses to communicate. I'm just submitting my final project for the web design class. But I'm sick. I either have COVID, which I took two tests yesterday and both were negative, but like, I'm really feeling it like here, like, it's not like, um, it's like a pressure. It's weird to explain. And obviously I, I'm stuffy. My head hurts a lot. Why am I vlogging? Because that's what I do. I need up a vlog. Uh, I need to upload a vlog today. Uh, I, it's already done rendering and everything. I need to edit the thumbnail. But man, I'm not feeling good. And I'm really kind of disappointed because I'm gonna be missing my web design classes, which is one of my favorite classes. And then my computer organization class, which is the conversion of binary and doing all that stuff with, yes. Like what we learned there is like one compliment, two compliments. Uh, converting binary to hexadecimal octal. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in previous vlogs, but man, I feel like I'm pulling behind. I'm not, I'm not, but I feel like I am. You know what I mean? You get me? Yeah. But I'm gonna get this project submitted and you guys can't even see what I'm doing because you're here and the screen is like really right above you. But I'm so mad. Because I like going to class and I don't like being sick. But with MS, I feel like I am always sick. Oh my god, people, stop uploading your entire code to Discord. <clears throat> but I'm gonna upload this and I'll chat with you guys a little bit after. That was very anticlimactic. Previously, um, I think I've been procrastinating for about 20 minutes now. I started cleaning up my house, and by that, I'm just breaking down some boxes. What led me to that? So, I had a chewy box delivered, and so I had to go out and get that, bring that in, unpack it, and that what was in the chewy box was a new scratching post for the cats since the one they previously had was all ripped up and all that amazing things cats do and it also came with a uh, kit a uh, cleanup no checkup kit i'm looking right at, right at it just show you guys this bag right here and what this does is it has like a sand in it that is non-absorbent and it allows you to collect urine samples from your pets especially cats and any other litter based animals are there any others besides cats but so what this ran is doing is so i went out i got that unpacked it i had to break down that box and then i realized there's so many more boxes that i needed to break down so i started doing that and then i realized i had a package in my room that i got last night i forgot about so i'm like you know what i want to unpack that too and so i did that and what was in the package that i ordered was a plant stand because this baby spider plant he ain't baby no more he was kind of sad earlier this year um he was outside and just hoping that the sun and the fresh water and air would revive him, which it did. But now all my cats want to do is eat him. And so I got a plant stand and I don't want them to eat him because him. 
But that's a girl, Heather. It's a girl plant. It, it's making baby spider plants. You can kind of see them like just hanging there and chilling. And I love propagating plants. Like, I don't know why. I love having plants. And I'm in love with this plant stand, so I might get a million more of them because a lot of my houseplants are actually outside currently and I have nowhere to put them inside. So maybe I'll just have a wall of plants with plant stands or whatever. If you guys know of any other way to display plants in your house that are pet friendly and kid friendly ways, link them down in the comment box below or just mention them. Um, obviously I love Amazon, so if they're from Amazon, all the better because I can get them in like two days and sometimes a day, which is also really amazing. Um, I'm just currently looking at some of the homework that I need to get done. I have one assignment, which is called 6.12 wallpaper and basically measure wallpaper. It's with visual basics. Now your girl is not good at visual basics. I'm good at visual studio code and but visual basics. Mm, I don't know what it is. I just can't grasp it. So I'm going to study and do that. And then I need to study my computer organization class. I think I mentioned that earlier because today, if I don't go, it'll be the second class I've missed. And because I missed Monday because I wasn't feeling well. There's a fly in my house. That was really rude. My cats are going to eat you. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I missed Monday's class because I wasn't feeling well. I was really lightheaded and I felt like I was gonna pass out. So I came home and rested. And I had that sleep where like, I literally was like knocked out. And Shiloh kept blowing up my phone, mom, 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 mom. I'm like, what? She's like, are you coming? I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go pick up my kid. And then today, obviously if I've been exposed to COVID, I should not go to class. And for some reason that doesn't click with my brain really well, because to me, like I know I'm sick, clearly, but I'm testing negative. I My grandmother says I should give it another day or two, especially if I was exposed, but I hate being sick <laughs> so much. My camera's like shaking, actually I'm using my phone. Um, because you're so close. I mean, we can get up and close and personal if you want. Hi. But anyway, I'm bad, bad. At least I have you guys to talk to you about it because I feel like I'm actually kind of lonely. Like I try to make new friends. Uh, I'm gonna stop right here because that's a whole other tangent that I probably should not get into right now. Given this conversation, this section of talking is about four, almost five minutes long. Things we do for love. Why is there a lock on my phone? Are you locked? So I finished the project. It was pretty simple. I just followed the video, the instruction video. Wow, my hair is a mess today. And I don't know what to do with these bangs. I'm trying to trying to grow them out because I hate how short the stylist cut them. They were all the way up to here. Mm. But anyway, I did finish this. It was pretty simple. I have a test next Thursday, so it was very helpful. And I am using two laptops, if you guys didn't notice, and have my Mac where I was watching the video and then a Windows HP computer because Visual Basics is not for Mac. Like, I do have a thing, whoops. I do have a thing on here, but it, 
it's Visual Studio, yes, but it's very different for this and mm -mm. like I, I just can't figure it out for the Mac. I haven't really spent a lot of time to figure it out if you guys know what I mean. So wow, my hair is so messy. Girl, be easy on yourself, you sick. I actually don't feel as sick as I did earlier. Like I kind of have an upset stomach, but mm, I also haven't eaten today, so it could be that too. But let me show you what I'm working with right now. So here's my HP, and then over here is my new MacBook Pro, and so I'm watching it on here because I love this new monitor. It is a Samsung monitor, and then there's my professor's channel. So go give him some love. He teaches a lot of coding and programming, and then this, I just have my university pulled up because I'm trying to log into it and all that fun stuff so I can upload the project onto it. I don't really have much more to do besides that, so I might tidy up the house and stuff or take a nap, I'm not entirely sure. Depends on how I feel, I am drinking a Celsius, but your girl can sleep even after drinking one of this, one of these. Um, my Discord keeps going off as well. Let me know guys, should I start a Discord channel to better talk with you all or should I wait? I am building a website. It is for my design class, but afterwards I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to be building like a subdomain and having a website for all of my like templates and things that you guys can buy and like a blog and stuff like that. I haven't really decided yet. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think and yeah. I'm gonna figure out what else I need to do for all of this stuff. I'm just logging in. Um, just, just stuff. I do need to study still. I, I can't ignore the. I'm so mad that I'm missing another class. I don't know why I did that. I'm just so mad. Who's texting me? Oh, it's verification code. Do -do -do -do. They have implemented two-factor authorization. So now you're supposed to have your phone on you at all times because why are you, um, I hate that my number lock doesn't automatically turn on. Why are you not working? No, here. Okay, now it's working. So every time I try to sign in, I have to get a code sent to my phone that I'm recording on. I was using my Canon but I figured this would have been a quick, simple update and it didn't turn out being that way. I uh, just a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, what time is it? It's currently 12.14. I haven't eaten. I've had a Celsius, some water, and I hate this HP laptop. I do, I really, really do. I really wish I could return it, but unfortunately that is not an option. Um, why I hate it is because every time I put any kind of pressure on the keypads, the mouse pad clicks. And it is the most annoying thing ever. And it's just so obnoxious and I can't fix it. I don't know how. Like it's probably nothing I can actually fix. Where is the wallpaper? There it is. Wallpaper zip, yep. I hope it's the right file. I've actually done this thing where I'll be like, don't send the wrong file, Heather. Don't send it, don't send it, don't send it. And I send it. You guys ever done that? Because I feel like maybe that's one of my toxic traits. My brain will tell me not to do something and I'll accidentally do it anyway because I overthink it. And oh, it's just frustrating. But so far I'm doing good in his class. Um, despite failing the first test. Like, he curved it, it was a C, but I still have an A in his class. How that happened, I have no idea. Um, but I'm doing good with everything else. Like, but I have like test anxiety, so I kind of forget everything the moment I'm supposed to do it, if that makes sense. I just go blank. I, I don't understand. I don't know why. I hope he lets me make up any tests and stuff. Like he says I'm fine. Even if I fail all of them, he said I'd still pass because that's just him. That's how he runs his class. So. 
focus. Hey guys, so it's been a little while, it's like now 1 o'clock, and as I was tidying up my room and just kind of breaking down boxes, I actually reminded myself of something I was gifted that I want to share with you guys. It is a cat fountain, it, it well, a pet fountain, but for me, it's a cat field, fountain, cat fountain. But I want to open it with you guys and share it with you and fill it up and kind of get my cat's opinion on it and whether they like it or not. But this product was so kindly gifted. This product was so kindly gifted by, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's U-A-H, ah, oof, something. But it's so cute, let me show you. So far, it is really cute. I like that it's wireless and you can just plug it in. Though the one I currently have is just, you plug it in. Um, but I have to soak the filter in the filter ball for about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna do that. Excuse me, every time I'm on here, I like, feel like I get air burping almost. Why do I wanna put these in? Set you guys down. On to coffee pot. Excuse my messy kitchen, you guys know the routine. I don't have time to clean. Though, I am literally home right now, so I could technically clean right now. But, instead I'm filming this vlog. This is full. So now this just sits for 15 minutes. Though this kind of just floats. So I don't know how that's supposed to soak. Okay. That's cool. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. And I'm gonna go back to watching the YouTuber I was watching. I am watching Chelsea Callahan. Why does the last name Callahan sound so familiar? I swear it's in a movie or something. Callahan. Callahan. It's like right on the tip of my tongue and I cannot think of it. If you guys know what it is, let me know down in the comments below. I feel like I'm kind of lost in the video. I've been asking for a lot of assistance down in those comments. Callahan. Callahan. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm filling up the pet filter water thing now. And then I'm just gonna finish setting it up and then call my cats in and see what they think.
Ooh, hey. So apparently this cat filter has a way to make it so you can set it to turn on doing for motion. So like sensing mode. Water is dispensed on pet. What? What should I set it to? No, never mind. Okay, I won't. Weird. But anyways. So for sensing mode, water is dispensed when pet approaches the fountain. Now that would be great because it would save the battery and all of that. I feel like I look terrible today. I hate my forehead so much. I feel like this is the most self-conscious thing about me because now that I've lost 100 pounds, I can definitely see like the deflation in the face. This has nothing to do with the pet filter. We'll get to that later. I'm not going to trauma dump on you. Not trauma dump. I'm not going to dump my security insecurities on you guys at this second, but we'll get to that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Charging, the blue light flashes. When fully charged, blue light is on, okay. So to change the filter, where is that? Switching to sensor mode. Breathe blue, what does that mean? Hmm. Lighting description. Switch to timer mode. Breathe, breathe blue. I don't know. Keep white. But what do I do? Time mode. Okay, that makes sense. Press and hold for two seconds to power on and off the power on stage. Short press the mode to switch between modes. Wow. Short press the power button to switch between modes. Um, the corresponding mode indicator light will illuminate. Comment accompanying by a short beep sound. Beep as a prompt. There's time mode, which releases every 15 minutes. Sensing mode, which is the water's dispense when a pet approaches the fountain. And then uh, talks about the lighting descriptions, which is when it lights up. Julia! Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Where are you at? I got something for you. I think she's in the basement. Let's go find the cat. Usually she comes when I call her. Julep. Choo choo. Pretty sure she's in the basement. Julep. Where you at? So I can't seem to find her. So we're gonna do the cat mom thing. I can hear her, but I don't know where she is. <sighs> I found Chulip. She was actually locked in a closet. I don't know how she ended up getting in there. I didn't really put anything in a closet today. Look, what's this? And here comes Pharaoh. Look, what's this? Oh, it's not turning on, oh no. So I guess the sensing thing, either I don't have it on or it just didn't really sense them. But Chula really seems to like it. Is that good? I'll try to figure out the settings for you. I might keep it constantly on, to be honest. Oh, she's having the best drink. But she really gave me a heart attack because I could hear her meowing, but I could not find her anywhere. Why did you turn off? Okay, turn it on. Blue. Okay. Do you want to try it? You want to try it? You're up. What do you think? What's this? Go on. Oh, don't be scared of it. That's a phone. Here. Right here. Put it up. Right there. It's a water fountain. You don't gotta be scared of it. It's not even loud. Like, you can barely hear it. Here. Right here. Right here. Oh, it turned off again. 
I don't understand. Oh, there it goes. Now it turned on. He don't care. You win some, you lose some. At least Julep likes it. So I'm going to keep it in here and beats. See if the cats use it throughout the day. Julep, don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that. You gave me a heart attack. I honestly thought she got outside when I went outside to get my plant here and thought she got out. So I was outside calling her and everything. She was just in the closet. Whoops. But I do think this cat fountain is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how it senses the pets, but I'll, oh, you just wave your hand over it. That makes sense. Wow, what is going on with my hair? I'm having a really bad hair day. I gotta do something with this mess. Mm. That's so cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there since it kind of blocks the bookshelf, but I kind of want to put the cat out in here to test it out. Pretty cool to me, I think. It's me, young man, you don't eat my plants. That's right, keep walking playing all innocent. I saw you. Okay, now that that's done and all set up and nice, oop, just kicked my cat in the face. I actually just uploaded my Montreal vlog and all that stuff. You guys do know I've been married for 10 years, together 11. Really interesting story if you guys want to know some tea on me. Let me know down in the comments below once again. You like that? I said something. Don't you do it. No. I might have to either move the plant or the fountain. One of the two. Excuse me. Good sir. If you guys don't know, spider plants are safe for pets. But spider uh -uh. plants are to cats as mushrooms are for people. And if you know the type of mushroom I'm talking about, and then you get it. It causes them to hallucinate. And the parts they're eating are the propagated, the babies, I shouldn't say propagated because I haven't really rooted them because they're still on their vines. But I don't want to cut them off because they're babies and I want to have more spider plants. So I, I'm working on a way to have plants in my house. I bought this plant stand off Amazon. It was like $19. I might put my aloe plant on it, but these things hang down regardless. Maybe I should hang it from the ceiling. I do have, I can make some hanging rope things for them. I know how to make those. So maybe I'll do that. I would just have to get thicker rope because the one that is up here has the thicker rope from there, but I do have twine that I've made some. Um, so maybe I'll have to figure that out if I want to keep the babies from being eaten by my cats. But anyways, back to that. When I go like this, I get forehead wrinkles and they kind of stay if I do it repeatedly. You can kind of see them still. And I thought about getting Botox for it, but that is like $400 every six months and I don't got that. And also it's just kind of how I look and but to me I lost 100 pounds and now I feel like my face is a bit deflated and I really don't like my forehead anymore um, you can see the wrinkles that's what I'm gonna look like when I'm old I just I don't know what else to do I've been using retinol and it's been causing like some dry patches so I guess I have sensitive skin I've been using so many different face creams trying to help with it and I've come to the conclusion that there really isn't much I can do about it. But now I feel like I look weird. I don't know if you guys can relate. But eh, I guess it's just on my faces. 
Also, I talk like this, so I always have like my eyebrows raised. And I don't like that either. Mm. Ah. So it is currently like three o'clock and I'm starting not to feel too well. The fatigue is really kicking in. I think I'm gonna take a nap for now. Um, I did finish uploading this footage and stuff for the vlog. I'm currently at 33 minutes and 54 seconds. So I'm probably definitely gonna have to cut that down unless you guys like longer vlogs. But mainly it was just me doing work and testing out a cat fountain. So I may add more to it. We'll see how I'm feeling. I do feel like maybe I should do another COVID test. Maybe I'll do that. I was probably still gonna be negative. Did I drop it? Yeah, I did. So let's do that real quick before I lay down. Can we do a COVID test, Mamos? Cat's judging me. There's the other one. The life of a cat, Mom. Stay. My neighbor gave me these ones. And these were given to him by like his doctor and stuff. And I took one last night. Got all the supplies out. So I already know all the instructions for it. And it's probably gonna come back negative again. Cause that's life. I hate sticking these things in my nose though. Okay, keeping it sanitary. It comes with these little bottles and you just basically unscrew them. I'm gonna leave this one screwed on for now though, until I'm done wiping my nose with it. So, these ones aren't as easy to uh, kind of get the stuff off the swabs because you can't actually squeeze them. The ones we have, you can squeeze and like squeeze the, the tip of it in. Okay. And now this one's different because you open this thing and there's a little thing in here. This thing. And then you stick it in here and then you set a timer for 10 minutes. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. So all that and the test was negative again. I'm probably testing too soon in between my testings um, or it's just negative because I took some last night when I got home around like eight o'clock and then I just took it again at three today. But thankfully it's still negative. Ugh, my hair. But I'm gonna go take that nap now because I'm not feeling good. I'll see you guys when I wake up. So much for that nap. I got a notification on my phone that I had a doctor's appointment today at my primary care. And I thought about canceling it because like I'm sick, but isn't that like the best place to be when you're sick? So I called a lift and I'm heading to my doctor's. One, to be a responsible adult and two, to kind of just have like a doctor's note for missing work and everything like that. And just to kind of know if I have COVID or not. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what I got afterwards or what the doctors say. So I'm home now and it turns out to just be a cold. And like we just talked about some other things. It was really just like an annual physical where they just checked up on me, see how I was doing, checked my heart, my lungs, you know, typical doctor's appointment, I guess. But yeah, just a cold. Yay me. Hey guys, so it's like 8.15 right now and I'm gonna end the vlog here simply because I'm really tired and I want to spend some time and catch up on my YouTubers that I usually watch during the day, but I actually didn't have time to watch everyone today because I had that doctor's appointment and all that fun stuff. Not that I have to watch them, but I enjoy watching my YouTubers at night. I have my pen, I watch my YouTube, I got my plug doctor and my pushing. Say hi guys! Hi! Hold her face down here. Say hi guys! So yeah, I am all set for the night. I have my heated blanket on. Tulip is meowing me to sleep with her beautiful song of her traditional peoples. Yes, apparently it was passed down generations. So now she sings it to me every time she can. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing night and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.